we are doing a full-on Pinterest room makeover. And I'm filming this intro in the bathroom because the room's already done. <laughs> Don't want to spoil the surprise. The last time I redid this bedroom was sometime in high school, probably 9th or 10th grade. And it hasn't been my style for a while now. I feel like my style at the moment is something like boho chic, a little bit more beachy, a little bit more whimsical. This is what the room looks like. I do have a lot of furniture to bring in. So we are going to be eventually replacing it all with the stuff that I have at the moment in my apartment. And so you have a bit more context. I am actually moving out of my own apartment back into my parents' house. The first thing that we have to do is paint the walls because this gray has to go. How am I ever supposed to pick a shade of white? <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while. I've narrowed it down to Simply White or Alice White. This one, like the Old Shapiro White, is way too bright, but I don't wanna be too cool tone and I don't wanna be too purpley or too rent or beige -y. In the sunlight, they all look so similar, although they look a little bit more dirty, but I'm gonna take it to the lighting section of the store. The tricky thing with paint or any colors ever is that they always look different depending on the lighting. So if you are impatient like me and you don't wanna bring swatches home before buying paint, then it's always a good idea to just walk around in different lighting. Good morning. I have a breakfast burrito. I'm so excited and I'm gonna start painting. I have to tape everything up, so I need my fuel today. So yesterday we moved out all of the furniture from the room and we put it into storage. And today I'm going to be taping everything up and we're gonna start painting. I'm excited. So the color I ended up going for is called White Palace or Palais. And it's kind of like a very soft, creamy white and I'm very happy to see that. It's only a two hour recoat time, so this is gonna be faster than I thought. So we've covered the entire room in plastic, did all the tape, and it's finally time to start painting, which honestly I think prepping takes the longest. I'm in my cute little, I don't care if this gets paint on it outfit. Please don't judge my uh, painting technique. It's really not the best. My dad was helping and he was much better at it than I. So I was mostly on brush duty, doing all the corners and small bits. This took much longer than I thought. Oh my gosh, and it was such a workout. It was kind of hot in here. I actually had to run out and get more paint because we ran out so much quicker than I thought and we needed to do like two to three coats. Play me your song. This is what it looks like. It's a little hard to tell because we've got like these insanely bright artificial lights. So, you know, we're not gonna know what it really looks like in daylight until, well, actually I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So until a couple of days from now for me. I'm very happy but I'm just so tired. So I'm glad to be done. right now but some good tunes and some focus and I just, I just need to clear some stuff out because there's no space to walk sleep or anything <laughs> So this was moving day and I didn't really film much because we were all just so busy moving stuff in and out. We were swapping out most of the furniture from my bedroom to the furniture that I had in my apartment. I bought that furniture with my ideal Pinterest style in mind, so it was already so perfect. I had so much stuff just laying around, so I was just trying to kind of clear it out as much as possible. Not really organizing, just getting stuff moved out of the way. First things first, I'm sore. My legs are sore, but I have so much to do. This place is a mess and I have to do it before work. So I woke up early, even though I fell asleep so late last night. Very tired. I have a Celsius and do it. I do want to apologize because this video is a little bit all over the place. I wasn't just doing one thing at a time. I was sort of like cleaning and decluttering and organizing all at the same time. The first thing to do is definitely just finish putting away as much stuff as possible. Everything that I didn't finish the night before. This included my closet and I was also trying to kind of declutter it as I go. Oh my 
gosh, the vanity was also such a mess. I just mostly put stuff away based on categories into the different drawers. I didn't have drawer dividers yet, so I couldn't like properly organize it. I ended up getting those later and I didn't film it now that I'm thinking about it, so I'm really sorry. But it was nice to just get stuff out of the way even, even if it's a mess, at least I'm not seeing it, right? Honestly, so overwhelmed right now but I think I've put away almost everything so now it's time for the decorating part I definitely have to do some more decluttering but it is so overwhelming to declutter stuff this ladder shelf was probably one of my most complimented pieces in my apartment and now my bedroom having open storage like this is great if you have a lot of aesthetic things that are pretty when on display closed storage is better for clutter and things that just don't look as nice for instance i put all of my ugly not aesthetic things in my closet behind the doors <laughs> and as a reminder you don't need everything to be aesthetic it takes a while to build up currently setting up some smart home devices. Um, I had a few smart lamps in my apartment and then I'm also finally using these smart plugs. I want to use one with my salt lamp because I think that'll be really nice. It could automatically turn on at night. with how it's turning out there's still a bit of decorating to be done and I'm still waiting on the bedding to be washed once the bed is made it's gonna definitely pull everything together but it's taking a while because I'm washing like literally everything so lots of lots of separate loads I still have to hang a bunch of stuff on the walls I also need to figure out something for the ceiling lamp because I think I want to reuse the lampshade that I have from Ikea but have it actually plug into the ceiling because that's like way better than <laughs> what we had before. Finally, I finished washing all of the bedding, so I started putting all the pillowcases back on, and yes, I went crazy with this laundry load. I literally washed all the pillowcases, the duvet, the duvet cover, everything. I just wanted to start as fresh and clean as possible. Can anyone guess what song I'm singing here? I'll pin your comment if you're right. Now that the room is a bit more cleaned and organized, it's finally time to start decorating, which is the fun part. I love having live plants, and this plant stand is so cute. I love fairy lights. You'll see me putting these up all over my room. Let me know if you prefer fairy lights or neon lights because I know those are trending right now, but it's just not me. Literally one of the easiest ways to transform your room or your furniture is to change out the hardware. I feel like this tip is everywhere, but in case you haven't heard it, like it's so easy to just swap them out. I got these knobs off of Amazon and they just, you know, are a little bit more me. I like the gold as opposed to the silver that was there before. Just like with that shelf, I like displaying some of my most aesthetic makeup and skincare products. These are some of the skincare products I've been using lately and uh, so far I like them. Oh my god, my hair looks like a mess. I've been a little too busy to, to do anything to my hair. The update for today is that my dad helps me put up the shelf so that's looking good. We also did the curtain rod and the blinds. Covered up the holes from a seat. Now I'm just working on doing some cord control. I'm thinking of using the smaller box for the PC since I have two outlets like right near my desk now. I don't need the giant box anymore. And then I think I want to set up a little like charging station over by the couch over here because I think there's a plug under the couch so I might as well like put an extension cord here so it's at least a little bit more easy to access. There's definitely a plug behind that thing and that thing is crazy heavy so maybe I should put the extension cord there. And I've got an extension cord going under my bed as well so all the plugs are being used. I 
feel like with the cord control, it's never quite perfect. And even now I'm like thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, I have some ideas on how to like, I could hide an extra extension cord behind the PC on that one side. So it'll be a work in progress, but I'm happy with how it is now. It's definitely much better. Oh my gosh, guys, I literally feel like a genius. I had this idea to put up some curtains to hide this door. I haven't really been feeling the color of it for a long time now. I had this tension shower curtain rod, literally like $7 from Target. And I also had some extra curtains. And now the entrance to my room looks so magical. It's like stepping into a different world and it covers the door. It's love this floating shelf. It is just such a good piece that you can style and decorate and switch up based on the season, based on your mood. It took me quite a few tries to get it just right, but I decided to leave the clips in just so you could see the process. I love my whole entire desk setup and I kept it pretty much the same as my apartment. I put it on Pinterest and it's gotten several million views and like tons of saves. I- what? Just two people in a crowded room. It's so cozy in here. It's really getting there. I can't wait to do a tour. I've decided to tackle the drawers here right now because I just kind of shoved everything in there and it's time to organize it. So yeah, as you can tell, this whole process was very random. I was just doing a little bit of everything each day. The whole process of me moving in and organizing everything and decorating and assembling furniture and hanging stuff probably took a week or two. This is a little reminder to throw away your little instruction booklets for the things that you've already used for a while. I feel like it's almost complete. There's still a few things that I need to do and I think I finally worked up the courage to do it. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Probably because it involves putting holes in the wall. Let's go ahead and do some of it now. I've shown this DIY in other videos and on my Instagram. I love this hanging jewelry display. It was so easy to make and it just looks beautiful. So I highly recommend you try it out. So we hung up the light. It looks really nice here. It's kind of like above the desk area. The original wiring is over here. So we kind of just like draped it across. It's also a smart light so I can adjust the brightness of it. All of that is hung up. We've got the dream catcher here. That's a nice little light up stick, just so nice. Nice decor. This is hanging over here. The jewelry display is honestly hung very, very precariously. <laughs> it's not very stable. I feel like it's barely balancing. I had the idea of draping some fabric around my bed to kind of create a faux canopy bed type of thing. Make it look super whimsical and cute and cozy. Something isn't looking right. I, I honestly, maybe I just don't. Well, also this is just too short, but I just don't think that this is gonna look good because I just think this room is a little too small. Like at first I thought it'd be nice and cozy, but now I feel like it's gonna make it look tiny. So I'm, I am still gonna do fairy lights, but maybe not the fabric. Uh, yeah, so I ended up not giving up and I'm really glad I kept trying different arrangements until I found one that works because it looks so magical. Also, this set of fairy lights is 300 feet long. It's so cool and it has a remote control. I love the life that plants bring into a room. So I got these macrame plant hangers. Whoops. I have a lot of fake plants and I want to get some more real ones. So I thought it'd be really cute to have them hanging. These were honestly such a good value off of Amazon and there's they're all different, which is so fun. <laughs> were the finishing touch. I'm still not totally sure how I feel about this. I might want to switch it up a tiny bit. What do you think? Are you ready for the review?
like I am in love with this room I think it is it's just so beautiful so cozy it feels so magical just being here my cat really likes it too he's been sleeping with me every night I make lots of videos on how to live a Pinterest inspired aesthetic life so if that sounds good please 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 don't forget to click <laughs> definitely click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you in the next one bye